You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Don't forget to stock up. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. A uh, waste of time. The show was better last week. Won't find better wares. The thief broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. Drops of blood leading Come away. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Are we really going to take the word of peasants and travelers? Fair. More blood. I'm still on the trail. Good to see you. Still more Check blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. I heard the people of Sunfall are starving. Don't pass up. He's a king of odd attack now and finish them. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Can you believe that the Osra... It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. But all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. The Sun King is too lean with these Asaram bootlickers. You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banu. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. 
I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. I'd like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. These aren't goods. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Able-bodied adventurers! Oi there, Outlander! Name's Vilgund! Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. If I could help, what must be done? The first pilgrim is an Asaran, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glinthawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all.
pass me that. I've got all the best to find goods for a fair price. We don't feel like what I have to say. Only the mind check out these when you're in the thick of it. We buy metal lot here. Good prices, fair prices. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. I hear King of Bring us your metal. Betting Take a look. to break the rebellion I, I have a snap mall lens to sell. Excellent. Here's your payment. What a beauty. Beauty? You only know that word when you're bringing them home from a tavern. Your objects of art won't pay our dues. I'll tell you why. Because artists are always poor. Might as well hang that snap mall lens around our necks. There's a dozen hawkers selling them upside. You wouldn't know supply and demand if it was written on the backs of your hands. I'll make you a deal. The last thing I want is you making any more deals today. If you see stance about Leave this the rest. snap maw lens, you don't have to admit... Take a look at these ways. Would you like to buy something today? Welcome to the jungle. These are good. Don't forget to... Sky is the color of molten food. and it's not sitting well with me. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy. 
But it's decent work keeping the city safe. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes.
When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time. I am. Refreshing. This must be the sun's climb, where the Banuk wants to paint his mark.
nice. Quite a show. This must be the Shrine of Kings that Naman told me about. Upper hand.
you are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glintocks linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes, there will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. Some Osaram girl applied to the city guard the other day. He shouts at me. Osaram slaves built that We just You won't get in there. That dried up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. But what does an Osaram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Every time I go near the statue, he shouts. Osram slaves built that thing. We deserve... Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. I thought Avad taking the throne was the son's will. The boy dishonored his father. Dishonored us all. To kill a son king. What shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. And how many more would the mad son king have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The son called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city, so I guess you have no authority here. Uh, I have the authority of the sun! Then call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Last night? You almost belted out an old drinking song I remembered from the claim. Oh, 
charcoal smoke that doesn't forge its... I wasn't sure about the sun at first, but... He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Any more than the Karja do. Vanguard serves Avad, and Avad is the king of the country. We all have our place in the order of things. It's crowded, but it's home. Don't pass up these goods. Take a look at these wares. Don't pass up these goods. I've got all the best goods here. Fine goods. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosing. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen is a distance between ears and beads. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. 
You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Numan. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get.